In this step, we are going to see how to show data from a backend, the one we introduced in the previous step. We are going to use a grid to show kind of tabular data, which is convenient for this step. Let's start by adding a reference to the customer service class. Remember that this could be a Java E or Spring Bean that you inject here. For this example, we are just getting the instance from a static method provided by the class. We also need the grid component. This is a vadding component. We want to show customers in this grid. And we have to specify the bean type here again, so we can easily add the columns later. So, let's remove all these lines. There are some unused imports there that we can remove by using a shortcut. And the idea here is to add the grid component inside the layout. We do that with the add components method and passing the grid. Now we can retrieve all the customers from the backend. That is service.findAll. And we can assign this to a new variable. Let's call this customers. Because the grid is parameterized with customer, we can simply say grid.setItems and pass the list of customers. Cannot be simpler. And before running the app, let's move these two lines to a new method. That's very easy to do. Press Ctrl or Command 1 and select Extract to Method. Give the new method a name, for example, Update List. Hit Enter and save the file. The Jetty server should restart automatically after a few seconds. And remember that you can start it from here if it is stopped. So, let's refresh the browser and we should get this grid listing some data. As you can see, there are many columns here, but suppose we wanted to list only a few of them. That's actually very easy to fix. Just use the setColumns method and pass the column IDs. How do you know what are those? Simple. Use the name of the properties in the domain class. For example, first name, last name, and email. Save the file, let Jetty restart itself, and jump to the browser. Now you should see only the columns we explicitly added. And that's about it for this step. In the next one, we are going to add some filtering capabilities in order to search customers by their names.